Lesson 3.8, Use Drawings to Represent Problems, Bar Models. So we're going to see how to use bar models for addition and subtraction. Bar models can be used to show addition and subtraction problems. And they will show the parts and the whole that we know to find what's missing. So for addition, we would have a rectangle like this, and an add end here and an add end here, and the sum would go here to show the whole. This would be the parts, and the sum would be the whole. For subtraction, we have two bars. We have a minuend, our subtrahend, and then the difference is shown by this little bracket to show the difference between the lengths of the two bars and what's missing. We can see what the bar models would look like for related addition and subtraction number sentences. For 5 plus 2, here's our add-ins. The 5 and the 2 would go here. It's addition, so we're using one big bar with the add-ins split like this. And the sum is down below. For subtraction, we would have 7 minus 5. So here's our menu n, here's our subtrahend, and our difference would go here. We can show a number sentence, that's an equation, using a bar model. Here we have 4 plus 6, it's addition, we use one long bar, and we have a missing sum. We can see the add-ins, 4 plus 6, we're missing the sum. Do you know what the answer is? If you said 10, you're right. Here we have 5 plus some number is equal to 8. We have a missing add-end. And the bar model can help us. It'll help us to know what the missing number is. We've got 5 plus some number is 8. We can start with 5 and count on 5, 6, 7, 8. We counted on three numbers. The missing add-end must be 3. An addition bar uses one bar with the sum written below. A subtraction bar model uses two bars with a bracket showing the difference. Here we have 10 minus 3 is equal to some number. We don't know what the difference is. We have two bars with the minuen 10 here and the subtrahend 3 here. We need to find the missing difference. Do you know what 10 minus 3 is equal to? If you said 7, you're right. Here we have 8 minus some number is equal to 6. Do you know what the missing number is? If you said 2, you're correct. Here we have some number minus 4 is equal to 5. So our minuend is missing. We have our 4 subtrahend and we have our difference. And sometimes you'll see the difference written below the bracket or right here above the bracket. So we have a missing minuend. Do you know what that might be? We could solve this with the related addition sentence. We can ask ourselves, what is 5 plus 4? If you said 9, you're right. 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. We can use a bar model to compare numbers or show what is left over as subtraction. Here we have a problem. It says, Bob read 12 pages, Dave read 9 pages. How many more pages did Bob read than Dave? So here we're going to compare the pages that were read. Bob is 12, Dave is 9. We need to find the difference. 12 minus 9 is 3. Bob read three more pages. So in this problem, we were comparing how many more pages Bob read than Dave. Now in this one, Bob had 12 pencils. He gave nine pencils to Dave. How many pencils does Bob have left now? How many does he have now? So Bob had 12. He gave nine to Dave. He's got three. So here we're finding what's left over after he gave some away. You notice we have the same answer. Our difference is the same. We have the same minuen, the same subtrahend. But in this problem, we're comparing how many pages they read 
and in this one we're finding what's left over. They're both subtraction problems. Subtraction bar models use two bars that are lined up so we can see how they compare. They line up right here. There's two bars so we can compare them and see how much longer or shorter one bar is to the other, and then that would be the difference. And Lola barked at 11 squirrels in the morning and 7 squirrels in the afternoon. How many more did she bark at in the morning than afternoon? So morning is 11, afternoon is 7. We need to find the difference between the two numbers. Do you know what 11 minus 7 is equal to? If you said 4, you're right. She barked at 4 more in the morning than she did in the afternoon. We can think of our own problem to solve using a bar model. There are 12 girls and blank boys in Miss Cho's classroom. How many more girls are in her class than boys? So we can put anything we want here. But we think, how many more is a clue to subtract? And the number of boys is the subtrahend. So the number of girls is our minuend. We would subtract the number of boys. So I think I'll choose the number 9. If I choose the number 9 for boys, that means there's 3 more girls. 12 take away 9 is 3. That's the difference. What if I chose the number 8? If I chose the number 8 for the number of boys, how many more girls would there be? Do you know? If we chose 8 for the number of boys, there would be 4 more girls because 12 minus 8 is equal to 4. So we think, how many more is a clue to subtract? And the number of boys is the subtrahend, and we need to find the difference. We can use information in a table to solve a problem. We can draw a bar graph to help us. So let's take a look at the table first. It says Mrs. Kim's cookies, and the cookies are lemon, toffee, and oatmeal, and the number of cookies are 6, 8, and 9. It says Mrs. Kim sold all of the toffee and oatmeal cookies. How many cookies did she sell? So if she sold the toffee, that's 8, and the oatmeal, that's 9, that's how many she sold. And we can use a bar model to help us. Our add-ins are 8 and 9. Do you know what 8 plus 9 is equal to? If you said 17, you're correct. And now here it says, if the oatmeal cookies are circles and the rest are squares, how many are square? So the oatmeal cookies are round, they're circles, but the lemon and toffee cookies are cut in squares. So if these are circle and the rest are square, that means lemon and toffee are square. That means we need to find the number of lemon and toffee cookies. So our add-ins are 6 and 8. We need to find 6 plus 8. Do you know how much 6 plus 8 is equal to? If you said 14, you're right. There's 14 square cookies. So remember as you're using bar models, addition Problem bar models have just one bar going across with a split in it. And a subtraction bar model is going to have two bars lined up one on top of the other with a bracket to show the missing space. Our next lesson, 3.9, we're going to use equations to represent problems. Have a wonderful day, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.